Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a video on top 10, the most impressive, best looking 4K Blu-rays. Now this is my list, it's gonna be different than your list, of course. We're not gonna have the same ranking, but I think you can agree with me that these are some of the most impressive 4Ks and surprise, surprise, there are no Disney movies in this list because we know Disney keeps cutting slack and just cutting corners on every release they put out on 4K. Their, even their catalog doesn't add up to what do we have here. Now, uh, first up we got uh, Tenet. So um, Tenet is, the reason I put this number 10 is because there are no Dolby Atmos on Nolan releases in general. So um, this only has a 5.1 master audio and yes, the 4K looks really good. It has a native 4K resolution and it's shot on 35 mil and on IMAX cameras. They're switching aspect ratios. So that's why I recommend this in terms of image quality. And this is the best looking uh, Nolan film uh, as I'm recording this video. So yeah, uh, great 4K, great image, but there are no Dolby Atmos, so yeah, that's why it's number 10. Number nine is, I'm gonna do a kind of like a cheat list here. So we got um, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League and we have uh, Batman v Superman, Ultimate Edition, the IMAX version. Now, say whatever you wanna say about the movies. If you're not a fan of them, I understand that. But you can't deny the 4K on these are is impressive. Now I have to choose two because they're very similar, like in terms of um, visuals. Uh, the IMAX, they both have IMAX shots in them without the uh, cutting on the sides like Nolan does. And Nolan zooms in his IMAX shots, but Snyder didn't do it here. So you get black bars on the side, but impressive. I mean. There are some scenes like very bright HDR like scenes in this like like when they're attacking Steppenwolf and when they're fighting Steppenwolf and Superman's laser eyes is just like really really bright and really crisp in this release. Also, every time it switches to the aspect ratio on the Batman v Superman Ultimate Edition, it just you can see like how great it looks. It just looks really like nice, very good. Uh, uh, 4K on those. Um, number eight is going to be uh, Dune. Uh, Denis Villeneuve Dune. Um, of course, Dune is impressive. Rumbling Atmos track, like Batman v Superman as well. Rumbling Atmos track. Really, really good Dolby Atmos. Image quality is great as well. It has a native 4K resolution. This is interesting because this was shot on digital. Then it was moved to 35 millimeter print and then they pulled the negatives again from the 35 millimeter so it's like there's like a slight layer of grain in this but image wise it still looks impressive very low end bass very epic very good picture quality so yeah dune is number eight now number seven is going to be uh I'm gonna give it to uh, Leon the Professional. Now, uh, this one, the Atmos isn't that crazy because of course it's an old movie and it's not like night and day like Atmos quality on Batman v Superman and Dune, but the, the 35 millimeter print on this is one of the finest film transfers I've seen. It just looks that good. Like, if you want to see how an old movie turns out in on the 4K format, get this movie. 35mm looks great. Image, qual image quality is just there all the way. Audio quality is not like a crazy Atmos track, but it's still good. Um, so yeah, that was uh, number seven. And then we move on to number six. Number six is going to be, I give it to Uncharted. Um, say whatever you want to say about the movie, but here we are talking about audio and picture quality. And picture quality on this is just really good. And audio was pretty good as well, in my opinion. The Atmos track is decent. It's not as crazy as 
the like Batman v Superman or Dune, but it's still pretty good. And uh, picture quality is great. It's a Sony release. I mean, what do you expect? Sony gave you a crispy 4K uh, picture here. So yeah, uh, Uncharted is number six. We move on to number five, and number five is going to be uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Uh, again, say whatever you want to say about the movie. You may not be a fan of it. You may like it, but you can deny the 4K on this. It just looks amazing. The picture quality is one of the best I've seen. Uh, very sharp. Another Sony release. Uh, so yeah, Sony is just really good. And uh, the the Atmos is good. You're not gonna have ton of action on this Atmos, but you're gonna have like nice ambiance and nice, you know, uh, you know, like when there's like something moving in the background, you can hear it very clearly on this transfer. Yeah, very sharp 4K, very digital, clean 4K image on this one. Ghostbusters Afterlife. Okay, and now let's move on to. Uh, let's move on to uh, Aquaman. Aquaman on 4K. Again, very, very good disc. Uh, we got a crazy Atmos track on here, another DC movie. It's crazy. DC is beating Marvel in terms of audio and visual and, and uh, like all that uh, technical stuff and all that visual stuff. So yeah, uh, great, great Atmos track, razor sharp image, really, really impressive image right here. The HDR, like when they go underwater, it really shows and really you can see like the 4K detail and the 4K goodness in these, in this transfer right here. So yeah, great image quality shot on digital, uh, great sharp 4K image and a great Atmos, very rumbling Atmos track. We got on there. Um, and now let's move on to uh, uh, the Suicide Squad. Yes, the Suicide Squad is way better than Suicide Squad, of course. This is actually one of my favorite DC films. And it's not only one of the best DC films, it's also very, very impressive in terms of image quality and audio quality. Now, the Atmos may not be as rumbling as Batman v Superman or or, or Dune, you may say, like, like Dune, but, or maybe even Aquaman, but I can assure you, get this movie on 4K. The image quality looks really, really cool. It's shot digitally, they're shot on IMAX shots as well. Uh, so they're, they're like IMAX cameras used in. Uh, so yeah, it just looks really, really razor sharp. Digital clean 4K image on, on the Suicide Squad. And the Atmos is good. Is good to great, but the image quality is just really, really that good. So yeah, very impressive 4K here. Um, and then we'll, let's move on to number two on my list. Mad Max Fury Road. Now, we could swap this and put it like different positions, but another release that kind of surprised me, uh, shot on digital, but it has a film grain added into the image, and it works. I mean, the Atmos is crazy, rumbling, a lot of movement, a lot of action, a lot of bass. It's just like very good Atmos track on this, and the image quality is impressive again. Warner Brothers really delivers on some of their releases, and this is one of them. It just looks really good, really clean, crispy image. Even though it's shot on digital, it's a 2K DI upscale to 4K, and there's like artificial film grain added, it just still looks really good. Get this Mad Max Fury Road on 4K if you want to see how full good 4K can look. And number one, this is one of my favorite movies and uh, just an impressive film in general. And that is, I kind of cheated. I put Blade Runner 2049 and I put the original Blade Runner in the list. Now, if you're talking solely picture quality and audio, Blade Runner 2049 takes it because it's a much newer film. 
uh, the the Atmos is much newer. It's a very low end bass, very hard hitting. The score really hits in this. They're good um, Atmos in this, and uh, the picture quality is really really sharp as well. It's shot on digital and it's that good. But then again, I'm putting Blade Runner Final Cut because for a filmic movie, again, for a movie that was shot in the 80s and they did this 4K remaster, the Atmos is impressive. The picture quality is impressive. You can really see how great a great 35 millimeter transfer looks onto 4K, yet Blade Runner Final Cut. So yeah. Blade Runner 249 and Blade Runner Final Cut, they just look really, really good on 4K. The image quality is great, the Atmos is great. So yeah, I highly recommend these two releases if you wanna see how great a 4K movie can look. And yeah, that's pretty much it on my list. Uh, let me know if you guys agree, disagree, uh, which movies I dropped off. I know a lot of you are gonna say a lot of Nolan films, but Nolan has to be at number 10. I can have Nolan up here because no Atmos and some of Nolan movies look soft. So Tenet is the best looking one. So that's why that one's here. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, check out my record. It's called Stranded Club Mix and I'll be back with more videos and peace.